I hope I hope it doesn't crash, man. If it crashes, this demo will be uh, really bad. Hello everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to one more weekly add-on review brought to you by Blender Nation. Today I will be reviewing the GoB add-on for Blender, which is GoZ actually, a feature that for those of you that are familiar with ZBrush, allows you to exchange models fast and rapidly between applications. So this add-on adds two main buttons here, export and import. So here I have with me a famous statue from the British Museum, from Aphrodite. And um, we have a few basic materials applied being rendered in Eevee. And now uh, to demonstrate a little of the capacities of this add-on, I will export Aphrodite uh, directly to ZBrush, which is open here, with no extra uh, export dialog. It will be directly, okay? So let's click export. It will take a few more than three seconds, depending on your uh, mesh density, okay? There we go. And now we have uh, Aphrodite loaded as a Z tool here. Now, if I drag it, click edit and F to focus. Now I have Aphrodite here. Okay. And this is a direct link between ZBrush and Blender. Now, if I go to draw, let's change the field of view here. Go to enable perspective. So we have something more similar to the Blender viewport. We can have lots of fun with her here. So let's open the subtool panel here, probably start painting a little bit. I have a couple of um, custom UIs here with me. So get the paintbrush, put a basic material. Okay, I'm really happy with the result. Now, what if we want to bring something more different to the table here? We do this. And I have inside of Blender here, another object, which is a skull. Now, if I position around her head here. Okay. Let's do this. Now, if I leave the, the school selected and click export, it will also export the school as a subtool on the same um, position so we can insert it to this uh, model here and have a really cool result. Let's try merging down All right now. Merge down. Okay. Now we have the same same model here with different sub um, different groups applied. I can totally select the paint and paint the school as well.
and now if we want to export this back to Blender, the process is really easy. Okay. Uh, we need to go back to Blender and enable import, okay? Uh, you can see that we have Gozi Import Background Listener. This actually uh, you need to be needs to be enabled so it will be listening to every Gozi export that you click here, okay? So I'll go click Gozi, and now it will replace our model with the same name of course in blender it's taking a little bit to uh, export but there we go now we have it inside of blender we can delete uh, the original school or simply hide it because we have it on the same sub tool now and now we can deactivate imports because we're not uh, exporting from zbrush again then here in EV you can of course play with the with the speckler a little bit the overall roughness and the overall lighting of your scene right now I think I, I'll go back to ZBrush and just paint it paint it a little bit more here modifiers boolean sphere apply now we have a hole there let's delete the second material well now if we click export and it's named uh, it's still named Aphrodite we can uh, basically uh, apply this change to ZBrush as well so let's export it back to ZBrush There we go. There we have it. It's right here. You always need to shade smooth when you get back from ZBrush. Recalculate outside. Not flip the normals, of course. There we go. Let's go to ambient occlusion and see here how far we can get the ambient occlusion going. Huh. Well, we forgot exporting the sphere. So let's do that. Go Z. And export the, the sphere. 
Now here we have it. And in this sphere here, I will probably apply a trans emissive material. Now that's gonna be cool. Yeah. Object or orange into geometry and let's make it a little bit smaller here. Well, right now, so that's it guys. Um, this is go B, go Z flow for Blender. I will leave the, the load link on the description below and um, you guys can download it right now. It's free. Until next time, please, uh, those are my social media links. If you want to keep updated with my art, I'll be there too. And until next time, see ya.